Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to model a fixed joint using physics. To get started, let's go to the Modeling tab, create a new component, and add a box or block feature. Zoom in. Let's now go to the Feature Properties panel and give this block a box collider. And notice in the Component Graph panel, this added a physics entity behavior. And if I run the simulation, physics is turned on and with my mouse I can apply a pushing force to this block. Let's reset and add a new link or node to the component. Using the move tool I'm going to offset the node to be at the center of this face on the block and notice the orientation of the node. Let's now add a cylinder to that node and you can see the cylinder inherited the node offset. Let's go to the feature properties panel and set the radius of the cylinder to 25 and the height to 300. Let's now give this cylinder a collider. So I'll expand physics and give it a precise collider. In the component graph panel, you can see this added a physics entity behavior to link one. But in the properties panel, you can see its physics type is set to kinematics. So if I run the simulation, you know, I can't apply a pushing force or move the cylinder. So let's fix that. I'll reset and change the physics type to be in physics. So now the force of gravity will push down on the cylinder. So if I press play, the cylinder drops down to the floor and I can't apply a pushing force. The same as I can for the block. So what we want to do, we want to attach this block to the cylinder so when we move them they move together. So we're going to do that by creating a fixed joint. Let's reset, go to the behavior group, click behaviors arrow, and then under physics click joint. So this will add a physics D6 joint. In this case it's in link 1. Let's now go to the properties panel and we need to attach the joint to a node and a component. So right now the joint is contained in link 1 but we want to attach it to the root node of the component. And for constraints we don't want any degrees of freedom. We want the joint to be fixed. We want the objects to be locked together. So I'll set the twist property to be locked, the swing X to be locked, and the swing Y. Now you can also apply some breakage settings. So if you put too much force on one object, you know, they kind of will break apart, but we won't cover that in this video. So let's actually collapse this section. And now, if I run the simulation, you can see the force of gravity kind of push down the cylinder, but if I move them, yeah, they move together, like so. So we actually kind of created a hammer. So let's drop down that hammer. Bra! <laughs> there we go. So we've now created a fixed joint. Let's reset and get a bit crazy and add another fixed joint over here. So in the component graph panel, I'll select the root node, and then let's go to our structure group and click create link. So this adds a new node to the component, which is on the same level as our cylinder. So it's called link two. Let's now offset this node along the X axis. So in the link properties panel, I'll add 400 to the X coordinate. And now the node is over here. So then add a block or box feature to that node. And here's the box. Let's now expand physics and give that block a box collider. And notice in the component graph panel, this also added a physics entity behavior. And its physics type is set to kinematics, so let's change this to be in physics. And now if I run the simulation, notice that I can still move these two objects because they have a fixed joint. They're attached to one another, like so. And I can move this box, but you know it's not attached to this system over here. So we'll do the same thing again. Let's reset, go to the behaviors group, and then add a physics joint. And this time, we're going to attach the joint to that link one node. And once again, we need to lock these axes or these degrees of freedom. And now if we run the simulation and move the cylinder, notice that it's now moving both of those bodies, those both of those blocks, I mean. Bra, there we go. <laughs> yeah, drop it on down, drop it on down, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> okay, well, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And I hope you have a wonderful day.